In this video, we're going to walk through the process of installing WAMP on your Windows machine. I've already downloaded the WAMP 1.6 for installer. It's simply an EXE, an installing program like you would see any other program. So let's double click and start installing. The standard setup screen. I accept the terms. Next. I'm going to install the WAMP files in the C WAMP folder, so it's just easy to access. Hit next. It's asking me here whether or not I want to um, install the WAMP in this folder anyway. I'll just say yes. Set up automatically launch WAMP on. No. This option here essentially asks you whenever you start up your computer whether or not you want to start the WAMP server when uh, your computer starts up. I'm going to leave it off because I don't necessarily do PHP programming every time I set, I turn on my computer. And the reason I'm leaving it off is because it will take up resources, memory, and so forth when it's running. So there's no point in doing that unless you have to. I'll show you how to manually start the WAMP server once we have it installed anyway. So I'm just going to hit next. At this point in the install, the program is basically asking us where do we want to put our WAMP root folder, our, rent, our WAMP document root folder. Essentially, this is the folder where we would be placing our PHP files. In my case, since I installed it in the C drive, C, and we installed it C WAMP, and you notice that the www folder here is highlighted, I'm going to say go with that default. That's the default directory that they install all the um, your PHP files. Essentially, this www folder is the equivalent of the public HTML folder that you would see on a live Unix server. Or on IIS, it would be the equivalent of the INET pub folder. So I'm going to just leave it here to www. Hit OK. Uh, would you like to use Firefox as the default browser for WAMP 5? I'm going to go yes because I find Firefox to be an excellent browser for developing websites, whether it be static web pages, HTML, CSS, and PHP, because it comes with a lot of built-in tools that make web development a lot easier. All right, the setup wizard has completed its setup, and uh, we're going to click finish. It's asking us whether or not we want to launch WAMP 5 now. I'm going to go yes. And we're going, to look, we're going to look at the WAMP 5 server tools that allows you to easily manage your PHP and your MySQL and your Apache installation. Those are the three programs that WAMP installs for you automatically. It really makes life a lot easier. So I'm just going to click Finish. Okay, at this point the WAMP server has been successfully installed on our Windows machines. I'm just going to move the installer program out of the way here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to navigate to the C WAMP directory or folder in Windows. And here we are. And you're going to see that WAMP has installed, the installer has installed all these files. Now, these are all necessary for WAMP to do its stuff. The thing we're concerned about now is the WW folder here, well, WWW folder. So we open that up and we're going to see that there's three files our index.php. And a couple of images. So we're going to load up the index.php by navigating to localhost, as we discussed in a previous video, or 127.0.0.1, and we're going to see what index.php actually looks like. I've launched Firefox, and I've opened up a new tab here, and we're going to just type in the localhost URL, which is the 127.0.0.1. Of course, I could have just written localhost and would have got us the same thing. So I'm going to leave it like this for now because it's done, it's easier. I'm going to hit go. And in any second we should see the default WAMP PHP index page. Again, standard feed. What this page tells us is what version of WAMP we're running, what uh, version of Apache we have, which PHP version, 5.1.4, the PHP extensions that are loaded with that. Now PHP extensions are basically add-on modules to PHP that gives PHP extra capabilities. For instance, here we have uh, a PHP module, extension rather, 
that allows PHP to work with XML easily. And you have XML and XML Reader. And there's a few other things as well in here. We'll get into some of these things within the video itself. I can tell you right now that MySQL hasn't been launched and we're gonna launch that in the next video because I'm gonna show you the toolbar WAMP5, uh, well, excuse me, I'm gonna show you the WAMP5 toolbar that makes it easy to start and stop MySQL and Apache web server. And it comes with a couple of tools, PHP, My, PHP Info, which we looked at in our previous videos, basically gives us detailed information about our installation of PHP. PHP My Admin, which is the, a web tool that allows you to um, interact with MySQL. We'll be using that a lot. And uh, yes, yeah, so that pretty much covers what we need to see here. In the next part two WAMP install video, we're gonna look at the WAMP toolbar which allows us to easily start and stop the services and so on.